I go inside because you're such a good editor, right? Eh? What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Friday, and welcome to this week's episode of Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and it's my old man, Roly. And we're, we're back outside. We're back outside. It's been so long. <laughs> we're we're going to kick back a little bit of wine. We're going to talk a little bit of watches in the nice weather. And what better to talk about then than a beautiful summer beverage? That's right, Regali Ali. An Italian... Sicilian rosé. Before we get into this wristwatch check, what are you wearing, Daddy-o? The uh, GMT, my, my favorite, favorite watch. You know what's cool? This, these cufflinks are beautiful, too. Oh, thank you. Those are nice. Nautical cufflinks. Yeah, Tiffany. It says Tiffany in nautical flag. <laughs> it does. That is very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to steal those. <laughs> what else is new? Uh, I'm wearing the, uh, the Omega Seamaster that you and Mom got me for my 21st birthday. Right. Um, I think I told you this, that Omega just reissued this watch. You can buy their new interpretation of this watch, and I think they did a pretty good job. Yeah, we talked about it right a few episodes ago. Yep. So let's uh, let's dive in. So well, we, with our summer summer jam jars. Right. That's right. This is a summer jam jars. Is that's how we do this? And this was in the freezer. Yes. So we, it's just uh, on the last legs of its frosé stage. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Salud. Salud. So tell me a little bit about this uh, about this rosé. Well, this is made from. Uh, from a local grape in Sicily called Nerello Mascalesi. Okay. So it, it's a, it's got a lot of, it, it's very, it's very fruity, but it's dry. Uh -huh. um, the producer, we've talked about this producer in the past. In fact, maybe we even touched this bottle in the past. It's a uh, Regaliali. It's oh, a big, we've been, yeah. big family in in Sicily, committed to uh, to quality. They do whites, I believe. They do reds. I, in fact, I know they do reds, and of course, they have they have a a, a, a rosé. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they this this uh, this winery sits on like the 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 western side of, of Sicily. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I could be wrong. But uh, but uh, we talked a little bit about the the Arabic influence in the name okay. Regaliali Rahal, like a royalty, you know, okay. like that. So so, uh, but. Enough about that. Well, it's no, good it's, wine. it's the classic. You know, Sicily's been mm -hmm. you know, so much influence over so many other countries mm -hmm. uh, that it's it's always cool to hear uh, Sicilian history, the history of Sicilian product. Yeah, uh, because usually there's a lot of French, Arabic, yes. uh, Greek influence in a lot of their culture. So uh, that's cool to see it manifest in wine. Absolutely, it have been invaded so many times. Yeah, you know. So let's uh, let's drink up. You don't have to put that in the thing. That was funny. Wow. And they've been invaded. So they are you serious? Are, you're right. <laughs> sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk about two of the watches we just introduced into the watch shop. Um, where do you want to start? They're both gold watches, but where do you want to start? I like to start here. Do you know what watch that is? This is a Universal Geneve, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a pole router. Yes. Whoa, wow. someone's been listening. Yeah. We did not even recap this before, uh, before the episode. Yeah. What do you so, think? I like it a lot. Is this a good? It's tell tell me a little bit about it. So I don't know much so about I it. believe 1953. Mm -hmm. I, I could I, I, I could be corrected uh, if I'm I'm wrong by a year. Um, Universal Genève, uh, Swiss company, tapped a man named Gerald Genta. He ah. was 23 at the time. Okay. He was a nobody basically, and said. Uh, Hey, do you want to, you know, make a watch commemorating the, the, the pole router flight? Okay, okay, so this was literally a commemorative watch mm -hmm. that ended up basically defining a brand, one, and two, being the first Gerald Genta mass-produced design. Do you know what else Gerald Genta made? Oh, I, I, I know from listening to you guys, uh, Paddock and Audemars Piguet. Yes, well, yeah. not just any Paddock or uh -huh. any AP. Uh -huh. uh, he was the designer behind Paddock Philippe's Nautilus uh, wow. and wow. Uh, Adamar Piguet's Royal Oak, the Royal Oak before the Nautilus. Um, Gerald Genta, although, and, and the pull router, which we'll get into, is an incredible watch, but Gerald Genta really changed the entire idea of luxury in watches. A design, right? But, yeah. Well, well, well yeah. there was not, there was never a luxurious steel watch before the Royal Oak. And then there was the Nautilus, mm -hmm. and ever since, steel watches have been luxury. Wow! Right? Yeah. That's look at how many how many of the watches fact, do you look yeah. at that are luxury, but they're steel. Right. It didn't exist before right. Genta, and I think it's meaningful. Yeah. So, th so this is the watch that uh, this is the watch that got them all started. And then we have this. So this is 1950s. Uh, 1950s. Well, this particular model is a little bit later. Mm -hmm. uh, still the classic micro rotor movement. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you've seen one before, but they're quite beautiful. Um, but uh, but the watch was conceived in the 50s. Okay. Yep. This is a Rolex Day Date, which you're very familiar with. Yes. What do you notice about that watch when when you know you see it? it, it it's the the the, co the gold color. It's got a it, it's got a like a funky funky. 
almost a murkiness. Mm, to it. Is it murkiness? Yeah. A, a purpling, it's, a yeah, browning. Yeah, a browning. Yeah. Yes. So this watch, and it's 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 pretty widely debated why this happens. Some people say um, it's uh, it, when a watch was locked away in a safe for a long period of time mm -hmm. um, and exposed to limited oxygen, the uh, the gold begins to you know patinate. You mm -hmm. know, the gold begins to develop this hue. Mm -hmm. um, it's debated why it exactly is, um, but it is 100% natural. Uh, now, those hues go away um, when you polish. Yes, yeah, sure. This watch was never polished. Right. So not only do we have this gorgeous brownish hue to the watch, but we have a totally unpolished 18 karat oyster case. Right. Which, I mean, look at the original lines. Look, 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 look yeah. at the lugs. I mean, there's yeah. just... That's beautiful. It's, I, ba it's basically how the watch was sold. Yeah. To me, this looks like an 18 karat gold watch. Oh yeah, because 18 karat will tend to have a little bit of a different color because I guess is it the, the amount of copper that it's the ratio of copper. Uh, in I really the mix? don't know. I know I that so. throughout history, golds have had different yeah. colorations. Uh, yeah. sure. I know that there are yeah. people that can kind of give yeah. a pretty damn good yeah. idea when something was made yeah. by the color of yes. the gold. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very interesting. You know, if you go back to the 20s, I believe, or, you know, gold was different. You look at, um, you know, Rolex today, the, the bracelets don't match. You can't, if you put the modern gold Rolex bracelet mm -hmm. beside a vintage gold Rolex watch, if you have an, if you have a sharp eye, you'll see the difference. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and if it's a small difference, then who cares? But it's if there's the, uh, a, real difference there it's the mix exactly yeah. this watch would look odd on a regular gold bracelet right it'll look a little bit odd at least yeah it would you know it's it just would look out color. of sorts so those are this week's new additions uh we're obviously super proud to, to have them the watches that we can talk about for for hours um but let's get back into the wine yeah disappointing you love it I, I, I love it. it i love it this wine I picked up for eight dollars uh, a bottle. Okay. Okay. So eight bucks. I mean, you can't you can't beat this. Great flavor. Uh, I, I, I it tastes like r uh, raspberry. You know, it, it's just a very red red fruit is what yeah. I taste predominantly. Plum um, maybe. Plum, pl you know what plum? Right. It's a good. That's a good call. It yeah. Kind of tastes like a like a yeah. Say yeah. Uh, score. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! That felt yeah. good. He cherry like them. cherry on cherry on the no, nose. No, it's all plum. Woo! No, I'm just kidding. I think that the, the, the point is, at this time of the year, especially welcoming in summer, yeah. right, there are a few things that are more delicious than an ice-cold rosé oh, yes. on a hot summer day. Yep. We drink a lot of that. It makes us feel like we're on an Italian beach just kicking back and... Uh, and we are, and we're kicking back the wine. <laughs> and, we're, and, we're, and we're kicking back the wine. Yeah. So do you recommend it? What do you think? I do. I, you should definitely go out and try it. Say the name again? Uh, Regaliali. So this is, again... Leonardo Locasio is the importer. Again, quality. Beautiful. And um, <coughs> this one is called Le Rose. Beautiful. Le Rose. Le Rose. So, oh, Le Rose, if you were French. There you Rose. go. Rose. Rosado. Spanish. <laughs> oh, Rose. His little French impression there was pretty good. Yeah. Jeez. So, but it, cool bottle. It's not going to, it's not going to hurt you. Nope. Packs a lot of, a lot of punch for yeah. the, for the, for the dollar. Yeah. And uh, how about we do something in way. the in the comment section below? Uh, what do you like to drink during the summer? Is it a Tom Collins? Is it a bottle of rose? And if so, pick up this bottle. We'd love to hear that. We'd love to hear. Yeah. yeah, I'm always looking for Read good it. summer drinks, man. Yeah. And maybe if we hear some cool yeah. ones in the descriptions, uh, maybe we can do them on liquor. We'll, we'll mix them up, make a cocktail, and yeah. and, and kick back, kick and back, enjoy the sun, and have yeah. some fun. Yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Liquor Run. Check out the watch shop at theowenharris.com if you want to see a little bit more of these uh, vintage. Teach gems. I will see you guys on Monday. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Woohoo!